Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to share with you how to screen capture the mock-up and, and basically bring that into Dreamweaver as a tracing image and build pixel perfect exactly what you see on the screen. Now, when we rebuild this, by the way, I don't have these original graphics in here, so we're not going to do this exact background. It's just the for instance of how to get it done. But we are going to have this floating above the graphic, and I'm going to show you how to do that and most other things that the site contains. So again, I mentioned this in our first video, that if you click right up here, if you have this installed, this is a free plugin. You can simply go to the web, Google, and search quick space markup, quick markup. Install that plugin into your Fireworks browser, and you'll have access to it. Now, unlike a lot of other screen captures, this will capture things that you can't see. So as an example, if I did a screen capture right now, it would only capture what you physically see right now on the screen, but it wouldn't capture things that are way, way, way down here. So that becomes an issue. So what this little plugin enables you to do is if I click right here, I can capture an entire page. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna click that. Now, once you do that, you get this really cool interface that pops up and I could start marking this up. So as an example, I'm just gonna share with you a little technique here. I could basically say for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click right here. And that's going to load that into a markup interface. So now I can say, as an example, say I was doing a video conference or something, so then I can say to the client, okay, this logo needs to be moved over to pixels. Okay, this is going to be dropped down. Okay, this is how we can change this color, etc., etc. So this little markup tool enables you to basically work smart with your client. And I want to teach you real world practical skills on how to get things done. So that's just a little kind of, for instance, on this thing called quick-markup.com, or you can just do a search inside Google and install the plugin, either Firefox or Chrome, or most, I think it's supported in Safari too, but I'm not absolutely sure, but I think it is. So again, this is a tool that I use to save myself a lot of time and a lot of brain damage. It's all about life 101. It's all about saving brain damage. We don't want to have brain damage. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We have a couple of choices. We could go ahead and save this to our computer directly, but I just want to share with you a better way to do this in a less time-consuming way. So I'm going to copy that, hence copy to the clipboard. So Command-C, or I'm sorry, I can just click right here, which is the same as any Command-C, Macintosh, Control-C for Windows. Now that this copy to the clipboard, watch this. I'm going to go directly into Dreamweaver. So here I am inside of Dreamweaver. I'm just going to make myself a new file, file new. I'm going to make a new HTML5 file. Now, if you're not in an HTML5 file, you definitely want to do that because this will be a semantic search engine friendly site that eventually we're going to turn into a fluid grid design to be on the iPad, iPhone, and other devices. Now, in addition to that, I'm also going to share with you in this course and taking this particular site and making it also fluid grid design for multiple devices. But then as the course builds and as we grow the course, it's going to, I'm going to add PHP MySQL features so we can tie everything dynamically to a database. Right now, this site is statically built. We're going to dynamically have it built using PHP and MySQL. So we're going to actually have about three versions of the site. We're going to have the desktop version. We're going to have the fluid grid version for different devices plus we're going to have the PHP MySQL and that's included in this particular course. So I'm going to create. Now I typically would save my page but at this point here I'm just going to paste the graphic in. Now as soon as I hit command V or control V Windows it took that graphic and it basically pasted it right in there. Now as far as the format I'm just going to go with my default format and hit OK. The next thing it's going to say is what do you want to call the file? Now again, this is going to be a trace image. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to basically click websites. And inside of websites, this is what I'm going to do. Inside of Media Loot, I'm going to make a new folder called comp, C-O-M-P-S. And I'm just going to call this what it is. So I'm going to call this, you know, client comp, you know, something like version one. Good habit to get into giving things versions in case you had version one, version two, version three, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. Now, this is gonna say, hey, you didn't save your file, which is fine at this point. I'm just gonna hit okay. Now, important step, I did not do this to get this into, into Dreamweaver. I did this to get this into my computer. And this is just a simple way to do so. I'm gonna cancel this. Okay, so that particular graphic 
this particular graphic is now inside of Dreamweaver. Well, I don't want it physically inside of Dreamweaver. I want to bring this in as a tracing image. So I'm going to delete that. I just did that exercise to show you how simple it was to copy and paste right into Dreamweaver. So with this page up, I'm simply going to go to the File menu and File Save. Now, important step here. If you want to go ahead and put this inside of a subfolder, it's totally up to you. What I mean by that, if on your server right now should be the index page that says under development coming soon. Now, for practical purposes, if you want to go ahead and put this inside of a folder called comp1, comp2, comp3, comp4. So in this particular case, that's what I'm going to choose to do. I'm going to make myself a new folder and I'm just going to call it ML from Media Loot client underscore uh, comp. Now, whether or not you want to call comp1, comp2, that's what I'm going to actually name the file. I'm going to give the file, the HTML file, different names, not the folder. So I'm going to create, and I'm simply going to save this file as, and if you watch some of my other videos, this is my technique of index version one. Make a change, save a change. So I'm going to title the page. So in addition to saving the page, you also want to title the page. So we're going to go ahead and title this, you know, media loot. Actually, media loot, actually we'll call this two words, comp version one. Well, actually, let's just call it comp version because I'm not going to continue to change the title of this page because this is just for demonstration purposes. Now, what you also want to pay attention to is right now we haven't defined the site. So that's a very big part of working with Dreamweaver the right way is you want to define the site. What that's going to do is make sure Dreamweaver is going to have checks and balances to make sure that all your assets are part of your root folder. So we're going to define our site in our next video.